knock on. So we have uh, referee Gosha putting down a scrum about uh, 11 metres short of halfway in Lewisham's territory. It's their Diamond Jubilee year at uh, St Gregory's. They've already claimed the Campbelltown knockout this year. And should they win the Cup tonight, they'll equal the record held by Patrician Brothers Fairfield. And that means that they'll have won the Cup four on four occasions. So referee Gosha requires it to be put in again. And it's Gregory's Kenneth coming a fairly wide blind. Oh, he's trapped on the pace. He's over the corner. Back inside. Beautiful stuff. This will be Neil on going over. Yes, just what they wanted. First points on cap nine. They burst on the board and they did it so comfortably. They lead 4-0. Well, in this try, you can see why Damien Kenneth is the leader at this stage in our superstar. A beautiful run back to the blind side. He dummied to the supports outside. The defence fell for that dummy. They hung off him. He had enough pace to get in behind them. Nealon loomed up in support on the inside and came up with a great try. Well, he has his, uh, he's keeps his, his opposition on a leash all night long. Look at this fella, Scamp. He delivers a beautiful pass on the inside to Nealon. And Nealon goes over to score with a desperation tackle there from Fidel. Swooped in like an eagle. But uh, as I said, he, he just have a look at him. There's a lovely dummy there, lovely feint. He dodges the defenders every time he gets the ball. He's a very complete football, this young man. Kenneth, first points on the board, St Gregory's. Approaching the ball now. And that one is one up, one down. And referee Gosha says no goal. So the scoreline, St Gregory's College, Campbelltown, hitting the front on cup final night, leading Christian Brothers Lewisham by four points to nil. Bursting onto it now is Osborne. He takes the tackle, but it's a good large gate, about 12 metres. And Scott moves into acting half, Scott Quinn. Straight away to Sukar. Getting it to Colasso for Nikafalu, has got it for Gregory's, and so has Kenneth, and he's doing his magic again. A couple of metres short of halfway, and Gregory's with the ball and looking very smart tonight. For Nikafalu, lovely pass. Smith licking up fluently, and he's right to halfway. So Gregory's. And in the Australian 8 under uh, 15 side, the young halfback, a great team player, plays constantly. There's a nice ploy, and here comes Kenneth again. Aria beautifully taken. It's a try to Kenneth. Yes! Oh my goodness! Just the attacking flair of Kenneth. Back with a vengeance that would send chills of joy down your old spine. What beautiful work. They lead 8 0. St Gregory's. Oh, crap stuff. Well, you'd go a long way to see a better individual try than this. Kenneth summed up the situation well. He realised he could chip over the top and had a good chance of contesting the ball and recovering it. That he did. He caught it on the fall and then crashed his way over to score a magnificent individual try. Just the sheer acceleration of this float off the spot, and he's got a lovely blood, a lovely floater over the top as he chipped it. Coming at him, of course, trying hard to bring him down was Jim Unwin, but he reached over beautifully to score that try. Here is the replay again. A fellow with marvellous gifts. He's so crisp and a beautiful take there. And here he goes for the line. And this is young Damien Kenneth. Hits it firmly, firmly, accurately, and scores the two points. So can Gregory's College Campbelltown leading Christian Brothers Lewisham 10 0 Cup final night at Leichhardt. Fidel looking for line. Not exactly the best of kicks that Fidel really puts in in general play. Here's McManus. Oh, he's got a big fend, and he's got a big run. He's up, up, and away, this fella. He's a runner and he serves notice that time. It's a good 45-metre uh, burst by Damian McManus. Now Gregory's again. They're on the roll. Finnika Falu hit well by Malloy. Put away midway between the quarter and halfway. Lewisham's territory. Fuller, lovely close ball. Coming on to it, Perrin. Big 14 half stone, vigorous player. 30 metres out and he's uh, injured just slightly. He'll need some trainer attention. Big Tim Perrin. When he comes boring down on you, I think even a bull-headed referee. He's such a big boy and such a tough. And here he comes. Here's McManus on a recap of McManus. He's such a beautiful winger. He's got lovely long strides, a nice swerve, as you can see. But well trapped there by Coolan. Now it's with Hickey. Hickey goes back on the inside. And it's a nice, nice move, too. And picked out by Whale. Stripped him of the ball. And on the outside on the right was um, Fidel and there were about four blue sky blue jumpers and about two Gregory's defenders but in the meantime it's Perrin making good headwork 
And now it's um, Gregory's again to about 12 metres out. Kirkman doing big damage. He's a very bold runner. Now onto the ball, it's Hansen taking it forward for, for Gregory's. It's all power. And they're trying to stem this charge, Lewisham. But now if they fly the ball, pulling it out, Finnecker for Lille. Fuller, they've got two up here. Nealon on the inside. Picked up by Finnecker for Lille and down. Eight metres out from Lewisham's goal line. They're still on the left. Now Hodgins decides I'll run it a little. And he's two metres short of the goal line. The last one coming up on Gregory's. A half a minute before half time. Kenneth goes for the drop goal. Smart. And, and um, referee Gosha says it's a point. It's 11 mil. Gregory's. St. Gregory's of Campbelltown leading Christian Brothers Lewisham 11 mil. He's a smart player, Bill. Well, that was good thinking. He realised there were only a few seconds to go before half time and took the opportunity to put that extra one point on well there it is to the end of an outstanding first half so far as St Gregory's are concerned their super best some talking to do in the shed so far as Lewisham is concerned with Donahue but uh, they've proved through the season they're never finished okay the scoreline here 11-0 St Gregory's of Campbelltown leading Christian Brothers Lewisham so uh, Gregory's applying the pressure again and it'll be Hodgins only five meters out Nice ball to Green, and Green... Oh, gee, I thought he was going over there. He must be only about a metre and a half out. So swung to Fuller. Fuller getting it to Hanson. Hanson blocked, eight metres out. Here is Kenneth again. Gee, he's elusive. They'll have to contain him and uh, force him back. But I think that... Are they over? The referee Gosha says a try. A try to... Um, to Gregory's over in the far corner. <coughs> We'll check it out on um, on replay here, but that's another one. A good play here by Kenneth. He elected to run from dummy half, brought two and three defenders into him, but he was able still to slip the ball away. You can see here the support looms up, the numbers obscured from us from this particular angle. There's no doubt the ball did go down, and referee Goethe was in a great position to see it. Yes, I think that's uh, McManus, because uh, once on a break he snaps away, I'll tell you what, he'll, he'll really burn off. But that was a close ball by Kenneth beautifully, and the big powerful winger, just a matter of just going over with two clinging to him to force it down. So Gregory's 15, leading Lewisham nil. Well, he's been deadly in attack. He's certainly the dominant player out there tonight. Kenneth and Wales scoops it out to Fuller. Close ball to Finnecker for Lou. Hickey has him under control. Five metres out from Lewisham's goal line, but they're in the van. Gregory's again through Kenneth. Fuller. Now it's Nealon looked after about 10 metres out from Lewisham's goal line. Kirkman at acting half. He goes for a scanter. Four metres out as they take him. And it's all Gregory's. Now Kenneth. Nice reverse to Finnecker for Lou. And one again of his typical charges laid down about two metres out from Lewisham's goal line. The last one coming up. Field goal. The Sky Blues and Maroons. And Kenneth again. Successful. It's 16-0. 16-0 in favour of St Gregory's over Christian Brothers Lewisham. He's got a keen eye, he's a crisp, noteworthy footballer, involved in everything and causes just so much turmoil. Hodgins serving it up to Whale and uh, Sukar is there, closes in on his quarry. Now Kenneth. Yeah. <laughs> when you're blessed, you're blessed, don't you? Oh, blow. He never had much room to work in at all here. You could see it on the replay. He kicked that from about on the 10-yard line, which gave him 10, minute, 10 metres to work in. He had landed about two metres in from touch and bounced, bounced along the line and then went out. That's a, that's a great judicious kick. Oh, and another one against the feet. They've just got too much ball here. Here's Whale. Easy ball out here to Clifton. Well taken. Metre short. But he put his foot out and a scrum to go down. A little bit of passion coming from uh, and rhubarb from Kevin O'Neill, I think. Completely frustrated. Lewisham can't do a thing right. And Kenneth, of course, doing it all for Gregory's. But it's a beautiful team effort, quite apart from Kenneth's contribution as Fuller makes good ground on the blind. Now Clifton from acting half. Fidel doing the stopping. Tim Perrin. Now through Hodgins, Kirkman. Kirkman, five metres out. 
from Lewisham's goal line. And Gregory's, if they get it out to the left, well, that is pretty good defence there. Out wide. Oh, Smith! Smith over. Lovely try, Gregory's. A reminder again of what a classy footballer he is when he links. Fella they don't like when he runs, and a nice gem of a try as he linked up fluently, and that's Darren Smith's their fullback. The case here of just too much possession, too much class. Smith's a great runner from the backfield. He read this well. It was a cutout pass that put him into the gap, and he finished it off. Well, the Gregory's forward momentum has snowballed into an avalanche here, and the strong performers in the backs, and there's another instance of it, with Darren Smith going over. So still they come. This time, Darren Smith to halfway. Fuller gives it to Whale. And Anthony Whale, he's brought up 100 to tackles here tonight, I reckon, but so resourceful in attack. Farhat again, bringing the runner to ground, and the runner happened to be Hodgins. Hungry for opening around the rucks all night, he's been. Finnick of Galoo taking it from Kenneth. And this is the last one on Gregory's. 20 nil, Gregory's lead. Kenneth. There's the high ball. Looking for is Coolan. Oh, one of his uncharacteristic mistakes. Picked up by Owen. Tried by Fuller. Their halfback. It's all St. Gregory's. Big try from a big competitor with a big heart. Never been off the boil all night. He serviced beautifully and he chased well there. Full of the halfback. Everything that St. Greg's has done tonight has turned to goal. This time it was a bomb that was put up. The fullback Coolan wasn't under a lot of pressure, but he had to rush to take the ball. He came up with a fumble. Fuller was on the spot and picked it up and scored a well-deserved try. Here it is, the up ball, and beautifully delivered by Kenneth again. And here is Coolan coming across, and normally he has no heartburn. He's always an immaculate handler. Sloop through, and Fuller picks it up for over she goes with um, Elias Sura. In pursuit. Well, there it is. And it's 24 0. St. Gregory's Campbelltown over Christian Brothers Lewisham. And I think the easiest of shots that uh, Kenneth or Finnegan for Lou have had all night. So here he comes. Lovely control, accurately. And the other two points. St. Gregory's College Campbelltown. The cup well and truly theirs, leading Lewisham Christian Brothers 26 0 on cup final night. Coolan. Number 17 coming out for uh, Lewisham, and that happens to be Joe De Giulio. The fans of St. Gregory's College. Very rowdy here. I don't know whether you can pick them up, but uh, and there it is. Full time. St. Gregory's College gave us some beautifully conceived rugby league here tonight to earn the title, the Commonwealth Bank Cup. They've defeated Lewisham by 26 points to nil, champions for 86, and as you can well detect by from what you've seen on your screen, they enjoyed their football tonight. And out Campbelltown way, the flags, I reckon, would be unfurled, the drinks are on, and there would be much rejoicing and singing out Campbelltown. Final scoreline, St. Gregory's College, Campbelltown, 26, have defeated Christian Brothers Lewisham, nil, and so equaling Patrician Brothers' Fairfield record of winning the Cup on four occasions. Just reiterating, they won it in 79, in 1980, in 1984. They were firm favourites throughout the year to win it, but Lewisham was the side that was going to down them. But as it turned out tonight, it was Campbelltown from the opening minutes of play, and they played a